Welcome to another video with Howard Piano Industries. In today's video, I want to demonstrate a method of bringing back some of the tone in bass strings that have gotten old and uh, don't have the ring and uh, resonance they once had. Um, this is something that uh, you can do to old upright pianos. Uh, if you have a old upright and you want to do some uh, work on it to improve it, but uh, maybe you don't want to go to the expense or the work of uh, replacing all the bass strings, and uh, maybe they don't sound too bad, but uh, uh, you feel like they could sound better. Uh, often on a 80 to 100 year old piano, uh, you're gonna get an improvement if you use this uh, uh, technique. Uh, so uh, I've done it quite a bit, and usually uh, for the work you put into it, uh, the results are uh, uh, well worth it. So um, I've tilted this piano on its back. Uh, now, usually I don't tilt pianos on their back, the old uprights, they're so big and you're in a customer's home. Uh, you can do this without tilting the piano, uh, but it is a little more convenient if you have the piano tilted. Um, this is what you would do if you were uh, restringing of the piano. Uh, it just makes it more accessible to have it in the uh, horizontal position. Um, so on this piano, I'm gonna have to also remove the bottom board and the bottom rail, uh, because as you can see, the, the bass strings, uh, they go uh, down here where it's gonna be hard to uh, take those on and off like I need to do unless these parts are out of my way. So um, this is the bottom rail, which is the piece that uh, the pedals are uh, recessed into. And then the bottom board, um, you can't really take the bottom board off unless you tilt the piano. So on this particular piano, it's really probably right way to go about this is to tilt it uh, just because of the way this is designed so there's quite a few screws holding this rail on or this bottom board on Now for the bottom rail, we have a screw that's hidden under the bottom board. that forearm feeling. <laughs> I 
Okay, now what we do when we twist the bass strings is we first uh, loosen the tension uh, by uh, unturning the tuning pin uh, about uh, three quarters of a turn or so, uh, just enough to remove the, uh, the uh, hitch pin loop uh, from the hitch pin. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with the uh, lowest bass note in this case. So I'm going to go so half turn, maybe three quarters of a turn, and see if that's not enough. So I have a string hook here to help me. once we get the string removed, now when bass strings are installed, uh, it is common practice to twist the string uh, before putting it on the hitch pin. And um, it's hard to tell over time that twist can kind of, uh, um, the, the string can get used to that twist and so you can't tell that it's there. But some strings, once you take them off the hitch pin, they will want to twist back. So um, you want to note that how much if they twist back a half turn, well, you want to you want to add that into how much you're twisting them when you twist them. Um, so the idea here is that uh, you want to twist the string in the same direction that the uh, copper is wound around the core um, uh, of the string. So in this case, the copper is wound going this direction. Uh, you can see the very end of it. It's going this direction, so we're going to twist it in that direction. And so, with the very thickest bass string, the thicker the string, the fewer times you'll be able to twist before you meet with so much resistance that, that you won't be able to twist it anymore. So, typically the very lowest bass string, I only put in a half a twist. So, half a twist I start uh, under here, in this position, and twist a half a twist. Now, a full twist is going to feel a little bit too tight. So just a half twist on the very lowest string. So this is a very good tool to have um, for this process. Um, you can do this uh, using vice grips uh, and uh, grip the, uh, the string um, here and twist it, um, but this makes the process a whole lot easier. Um, it's a bass string twisting tool. It has a plunger here, so when you put the uh, plunger on the top of the pin, you can push the string into place. So, that's the process we're going to use, and so this time I'm going to do several pins so I don't have to keep uh, going back and forth. So that's a half turn and a little bit more. I'll do a half dozen. direction of the winding should be the same on every string, but doesn't hurt to check. So again, we're going uh, counterclockwise.
some point I'm going to start twisting in a whole turn uh, as I feel that there's uh... so at this point as the string gets less thick uh, you're able to twist it um, more and you'll still feel I can do a whole turn and still feel about the same amount of resistance as I, I did on the half turn on the thicker string so this time we're going to go for a whole turn With a whole turn, I'm going to start at the top. I just twisted that one, so looks like I'll be redoing that one. I've already done six. So at this point, we can go ahead and retighten re the uh, some of these strings was already done. So we just continue the process, and as the strings get thinner, uh, you continue to add uh, twist as uh, you're able, uh, and you can feel that. Uh, you can feel when it's got enough twist in it. Uh, you can feel when you're when it's too tight. Um, so when we get up to the highest strings, um, I'll demonstrate a couple of those. Look a little closer to see what way the winding is going on these. But it's going in the same direction. So up here we should get, sometimes I use uh, as many as three turns. So that's one, two, three. And so still it, it doesn't feel too tight. But just to show how you taper the, the twist uh, from half to up to three twists.
So once you do the whole set, um, you can uh, tilt the piano back up and uh, tune it up. And uh, usually you'll find that uh, it, there's a marked improvement in the tone. Uh, so, uh, you know, for about an hour's worth of work, uh, you can uh, make a difference uh, without having to uh, go to the, the work and expense of uh, replacing bass strings. So, uh, hope you found this helpful. Um, if you have any questions about this procedure, uh, please uh, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer your questions. Our website is howardpianoindustries.com and um, thanks for watching.